fit, formidable, and fantastic. Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and welcome to a new episode. This is the third installment in my Best Vegan Bodybuilding Food series. Uh, you all wanted more, so let's get cracking. This time I'll be covering... Quinoa. So I've been doing veggies for the last couple installments, and I wanted to change it up a bit and get it on a grain, an anaphocanbolic grain. As with spinach from my first installment in the series, quinoa contains... Ectisteroids. Just 50 grams of quinoa contains 50 to 20 milligrams of 20 hydroxy ectosome, which is more than some ectisteroid supplements provide. It also contains 3 to 9 micrograms of 12 other ectisteroids. Now, I've discussed ectisteroids previously. Check out the spinach episode, which I will link below. But to sum it up from a performance standpoint... According to research, they produce a range of effects in mammals, including increasing growth and physical performance. In skeletal muscle cells, phytoectisteroids increase protein synthesis. Furthermore, they achieve this without androgenic effects, which makes them safe compared to anabolic steroids. And scientists even feel that ecdysterone should be considered for the doping list due to its potency. Additionally, ecdysteroids can lower both cholesterol and blood glucose, are healthy for the liver and intestines, and may exhibit neuroprotective qualities. Just bear in mind, the bulk of the research on ecdysteroids have been uh, performed on rodent and other animal models, but there have uh, been promising in vitro studies on human muscle fibers. Uh, so while the anabolic effects in humans needs more research, this, uh, there is promise, and it certainly won't hurt you to get in on this. Hell, it actually appears to help you. In the rodent model, an oral dose of 5 milligrams per kilogram of body weight seems to possess anabolic properties. So do the math and see what you'd need. A 170-pound male would want to consider 386 milligrams of ecdysteroids, for example. Uh, beyond the ecdysteroid content and their inherent benefits, there's the basic vitamin and mineral breakdown of quinoa. Quinoa is a great source of vitamin E, manganese, phosphorus, copper, magnesium, dietary fiber, folate, and zinc. And there we have it, folks, uh, both dietary fiber and zinc yet again. So seriously, check out my previous two installments on spinach and broccoli to learn all about the health benefits uh, and hormone benefits of both of those, uh, just to save us all from reiteration. I will link both episodes in the description of this video, so do check them out. Uh, so as you can see, it is both perfect for your health and performance, and... Based on the nutrition facts of quinoa, one uncooked cup or 170 grams provides 24 grams of protein, along with 109 grams of high-quality carbs. Compare that to rice, your classic bodybuilding staple, which by comparison only contains 13 grams of protein per uncooked cup. So quinoa is a clear winner for bodybuilders. Quality carbs and more protein. And researchers suggest that people who eat quinoa regularly will be healthier as a result. My advice? Swap out your rice for some quinoa at your next meal and reap all of these amazing benefits. And that about sums it up. I hope you were all still enjoying this series. And let me know if you'd like me to continue with more alpha as fuck vegan foods. And also, do like and share this video to spread the nutritional wealth and promote a powerful vegan food choices. And furthermore, subscribe to this channel to stay on top of all the latest content, which I will release twice a week. Otherwise, till next time, my friends.